just a slider. So, yeah, uh, that's good enough. Select, select, well, all right. Select a bat tech color. Blue, red, yellow, or purple. What a weird question for me to ask. I mean, tacos tend to be yellow. I like purple though. Purple looks pretty nice. Why do I have to make these decisions? <laughs> this determines the final end. We're gonna go with taco yellow because it's yellow. Taco yellow. Apparently, this game series adapts to the choices I make and the story is tailored to how you play. Imagine that. City Hall, 8.32 p.m. out of here before anyone can stop us except maybe batman want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. He just stands there, like... Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed... The city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs... ...until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. Got in. Don't let it get out. Oh, 
Who's that? Who's that? I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes. <laughs> I know, right? I was wondering about that myself. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> I think he was just, I think it was just a smoke grenade, you know? I don't know why they were coughing. That was weird. Shift Q, never hit that before. miss that one. At least it lets me miss them every once in a while. What? Press A and D. I, I, I died. I was trying to read the text. They didn't give me enough time to read the text. They killed me before they gave me the opportunity to read what I was actually supposed to do. Boo game. Boo. All right, well, we got to add, I guess we have to add a game over here. <laughs> Apparently, I'm supposed to hit A and D to use my finishing move, but by the time I finished reading that, um, I was, I was, I, I was, I was, my time was out. So. Come back! Come on! Do I have to do this whole thing again? Oh, maybe not. Maybe so. Mother teach you to knock. Behind you, big boy. Arrest. 
you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. And let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Thinking, you broke my glasses. You get this? Move us in closer. Ooh, I almost missed that one. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. I go to all that trouble for this. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot! No! Wait! I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Give up. There's no way out. <laughs> Give me some credit. Hmm. 
Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Catching. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, <laughs> Hi, Bruce. My apologies for the late <laughs> arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. I want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, support Harvey Dent. We're the grease. They're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my Might home. Might be Batman. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Put Which, a dent record, in crime. I've not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, our hope is in Harvey. Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. This is an interesting graphical mode, like... <laughs> you dream of a city where children play in traffic. Pause. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're preaching, dear. 
No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you, too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. <laughs> this is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, it's so formal. What makes Bruce, Bruce Wayne tick? Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. Just a day? <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it looks like Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. Well, what, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Well, well, well. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. 
You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, I no just class. Talk. Carmine Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell Your me Your guests house. will remember that. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. As you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll get a drink or something. Christ. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. No one gets remembered for staying in the middle. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Here, pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to be in a gracious host. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. For Gotham, for our city. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand the situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. He's gonna get what's coming to him. I think he's threatening me. I think regardless of what I chose, I would probably get what was coming to me. Either I'm cooperating with a criminal, or I'm not. Boo Ernst. 
But who knows? We all know from Telltale Games that whatever choice you make is the wrong one. Or there is no right choice. Or whatever. It's me. Why did I pick a color if it's not actually using the color I picked? Apparently this episode is called Realm of Shadows. she was really after him. It might have been. <clears throat> like, I picked yellow, and it showed this as yellow, but it's not yellow. Here it is. Nearly fell off a building for this? Analyze the drive at the back computer. We have a codex, which we can codex, which we can access. A Gotham feed, which we can access. Some movie tickets, which we can look at. Uh, how do we analyze this? We have a gadgets table that we can look at. Let's look at the gadgets table. That sounds interesting. Ooh, we got our spare grapple gun. We've got some EMP sticky tasers. We've got a trace de detection skimmers. We have smoke pellets. And we have batarangs. Okay. Very nice. Okay. That doesn't do anything. Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number of escapees from the half prison, half mental, mental hospital to 15 this year. Only three have been caught to date, but all the escapees highlight the rough, some would say inhumane conditions at the aging asylum. Nope. This is clearly the back computer. We need to analyze the drive. I don't know how to do it. Oh, here we go. The data port. There's the data port. We need to use the data port there. Oh. I guess that was really the chair button. The chair button. That's why that was so important. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Uh, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Oh, 
Looks like a. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense it's of it. Probably yet. it. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check Hopefully. the codex. Mm, now we can use the codex. Use the codex to look up info on the cat burglar. All right. Oh, there's, there's, there we go. Found her. New criminal on the scene, tied to several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the Gotham City Police Department has no leads. I wish to know more about her. I guess that is. A Batman speaking, not the computer. Okay. Did it. Wayne Enterprises with a big W. We got Arkham Asylum. Maximum Security Psychiatric Hospital. Gotham City. Alright. We got info. Not much to find, apparently. Burglaries, break ins. Seems to lay pretty. Does low. seem to be what the back computer you says. Can learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Whoops. Define need to. Uh, whenever Harvey calls. The guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have canceled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Ah, old men worry <laughs> us all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Oh, I can take it. I need to take it. I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but... His behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the breaking? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Do you think, Roy? That's... Up, but... You can't have any more of that. 
You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. Whoops. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Cobble Pot Park. So fire is in color. Where are you, Oz? Nope. We can walk. We can do stuff. Let's look at the graffiti. Newspaper. Let's look at the newspaper. Whoops. Gotta hit the forward button. Not the punch button. Homeless person. Give change. I'm Bruce Wayne. Jeez. Thank you, sir. All right. Great. There's the statue, but no Oz. I have a feeling some bad stuff is about to go down. This place is in pretty bad shape. Like, pretty bad shape. Look at this plaque. I I gave him change. It looked like it was pretty. It was it looked like it was like decent change. Well, it isn't what it used to be. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Can we give him like a hundred? Let's look at the statue. Watch wallet cash. But this goes through you. You heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him! Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. in the moment! Come here! I think that'll do! Stay down! This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Hey, good as new. 
Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> Uh, no, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. It's a shame what happened. It was beautiful once. And now, it's a hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. Ah, this city chews right through people. Ah. Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune, there's nothing left, Bruce. I know, Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high. Ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham bliss. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Okay. Oh, I like that view. That's a good view with the black and white. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The car is red. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. 
Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> well, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. Worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Oh, I have to say stuff. My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Let us honor their memory with this new facility in the hope that a night like that never happens again. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm, uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. We All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Oh, it's crap. Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control's my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your I think we know where it's coming out. from. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. How much do I know about Batman? Bruce, I've been trying Meh. to reach you. The police are inside the manor. I know, I know what, I know what, I know the basics. Hey, hey.
Hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to? It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition... disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Boo. You broke my photo. Of my parents. Well, he didn't break the photo. He broke, he broke the frame. I think the photo is fine. Stay back. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not gonna have any for a while. Listen. Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Oh, yeah? Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof still allegations like this they, they they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after me obviously the sender didn't identify themselves we have no idea who it could be i mean no one's even done their due diligence on this yet the press saw the fumble they grabbed the ball and ran not every day you get to go after a wayne Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't no! my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready.
Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood? That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Vicky will remember that. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents... It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Yeah. Do that. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? It's got to be politically motivated. Hill can't match your fundraising, so he's trying to take out your biggest donor. I don't know. <laughs> this is a new low, even for Hill. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, they would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Hey, you. Sorry, I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Sweet Selena. Merciful crap! I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? It's Selena. Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. Well, I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. 
We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Oh, now we're gonna, hey, we're gonna have a private conversation. Just the two of us. Gonna sit there in silence. Okay. Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you, why take the risk? I don't need one. I do this because I can. <laughs> and I thought you were on some noble crusade against crime. Silly me. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me too. Oops. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't owe you anything. As far as I'm concerned, you're on your own. Huh. I was hoping we could work together. Sorry. I'm a solo act. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. No! Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. <laughs> Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you going to stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Don't screw it up. the warehouse no sign of catwoman's contact it's quiet the sound of an ambush stay on guard on guard that means put my hands on the keyboard and mouse isn't that what that means that's what it means to me <clears throat> well there's some dead guys This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? Half of me is 
expecting them to come up and attack me as zombies. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Bat fingers. Exploded human remains. Nothing left to bury. Hmm. exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it but the chemicals themselves were inert not explosive well it appears to have made a pretty big boo i'll see what i can piece back together interesting interesting mechanic i've seen these outfits before same mercs that broke into city hall Yes, yes, they were. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Take that door. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. <clears throat> that bad? Who? Oh. He looks like a zombie. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. <clears throat>
Skylight Club. This kind of reminds me of L.A. Noir, a little bit. The investigative thing. His. This man's been badly burned. Yeah. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Yeah. Used to find the bullet. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Okay. We've now got incendiary bullet, which, is, which we can obviously link to the... Uh, to the, uh, we can't link it to this anymore. I mean, all links are, oh. This is weird. So, I don't quite understand how this works exactly. So that link is pretty clear. The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, there's a forklift here. Is there anywhere else I can go? We have an unscorched area. We have... Bloody hands. Ripped up face. A cop shredded this murk to pieces. Barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. And we have a bullet tied to what? The unscorched area? Maybe? But I don't think that doesn't make sense. It's the only link. Almost like connect the dots. I mean, we can try it and see what happens. Okay. I don't quite understand that link, but all right. What else do we have to investigate? That's that's like it. Seems like that's it. Well, okay. I want to resume the game.
I mean, we could tie the bullet to the, uh, to the, actually, I think we want to, let's try and tie in the bullet to the, uh, to this. Can we do that? Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at the local gun store. It appears military. Okay. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. His snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands and was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Locate the sniper nest. This looks good. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. First try. This is the right spot. So where did he go? <laughs> Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. your corpse to this graveyard. Belconi, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Uh, 
true what they said about Yoink. you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. <laughs> Tell me! That catwoman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container! Uh, someone must have heard us, called the cops. We were told no witnesses! Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcony said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything! I Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. He, he tried to kill me. Who, who tried to kill you? The bad man. You're taking this too far, Bruce. I'm taking it too far, huh? You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Did I? Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Is he? Next time, it might be the morgue. <clears throat> Especially now, during the preposterous I, 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 I pulled his family. arm back. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave, You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Sometimes <laughs> this job requires hard decisions. You're the right man to make them. In fact, I think you're the only one who can. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Yoink! 100%. Well, back into the fray again. Some bad encryption. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. But it goes back years. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? 
I'll run a search, but so far I don't. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Ooh, we have a choice. <clears throat> we have a choice. We could go with Vicky on one side. The reporter who seems to be okay, or we could go with James Gordon, who I don't think quite trusts me yet. Um, what do we think? The Riddler? Gordon. The cops are on the front lines of this war. We'll go with Gordon. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A Hi, wise decision. everybody! Hi, we'll Dr. Dick! We'll attack on two fronts tonight. Hey, Vitriol Plays, that, thanks for the raid. By any means necessary. How is everyone doing? Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. Welcome to the stream. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. I hope you had a good stream. This, this is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. King's Quest three, awesome. I don't even wanna know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. This isn't about politics. Gotham is safer with Falcone off the streets. How's King's Quest 3? Hello. To fix this. Hey, thanks for the follow. As as I appreciate you calling me here. I gotta make DJ. one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't going to change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Waynes always supported the Gotham police. So I'd like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. The investigation isn't the problem. It's the Wayne family name. Help me clear it. <clears throat> if your family's clean, I'll All right, Katie. The Have a good night. If they aren't, I'll still sing. Thanks for stopping by. You got to understand, I'm bound to this badge. <laughs> King's Quest 3 is an interesting game. It's a very interesting game. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. It's one of my favorite King's Quests, I think. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. Okay, Jim. It's done. Good, so is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car.
Well, that's a fancy car. <clears throat> Whoa. That car seems to be much more than it appears. Anyway, thank you, Vitriol Plays, for the raid. I really appreciate that. And welcome everybody who came in from that raid. Uh, if you haven't been here before, I am Taco Salad77, and I play adventure games. This is game number 114 that we played. Um, and we, I, uh, you can actually go. Um, here and check out my complete game list and check out my social media here. Um, all the games that I play are picked by you, the viewer, um, and we vote for them and nominate them and move them up the list. So this one was picked and voted on and that's what we're playing right now. And if you also want to vote on game 115, you can um, vote using that poll right there. But it's good to have you all here. I've never played this game before, by the way. We're playing it in shadow mode, which means it's black and white mostly. Falcone. What year was this game from? We switch back between classic and regular. That would be interesting. I don't know if we can do that. Good point of entry. We can try though. Do you know what year this game is from, uh, Finkelroy? It is a Telltale game, so. Um, 2016, okay. Oh, neat. I control, I'm controlling the drone. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh, <laughs> you're cute. So, uh... The guy's looking right at me. The guy's looking right at the drone. How does he not see it? How does he not go, what is that thing? You make your rounds? Yeah, no broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. Modern art. Let's check out the modern art. Ooh. Nothing here. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. How did they not see Stealth, that thing? Stealth not an option. Put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Oh, I gotta put... Now I have to put together a plan of attack. This thing's probably like a $100,000 drone or something like that. Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down. Entry gunman, marble pillar, staircase. Were we throwing him against the stairs? Okay, I guess that works.
There's one over there. So we're coming up with a plan now. That's probably going to hurt. Like, a lot. Where's the other one? Where's the last, uh, where's the last one? Oh, right there. Oh, he looks like the easiest one. This one might be tricky. Really? Any yeah. ideas? I've got it covered up. I thought he was the easiest one because he's like outside. Oh, are we just gonna like throw him over the balcony? <laughs> Yep, I'm going in. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. I think there's going to be a lot more crashing. And a lot less party. I didn't think so either. Hey, that plane worked pretty good. I approve of that plan. Apparently I failed that. That's gonna hurt. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. That's hilarious. Explosives armed. Fire when ready.
I had the option of hitting the gun, I just realized that. Answers now. You won't. You wouldn't have. Alright, alright. The chemicals. Where are they? I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it ain't a dead bat. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals you're so riled up about, they're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Brutalize or arrest? Gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire. could reportedly be seen from street level tonight the skyline club a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown gotham was the arena for a clash between the notorious batman and alleged mob boss carmine falcone who was found dangling over a 50-story drop bet falcone loved that view though i'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about. The Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes' time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred!
Whoa. Well, that's the end of that episode. We'll stop the timer real quick to deal with the concept. The... Did you stick up for Harvey in front of Falcone? You and 32.9% of players shut Harvey out of the private meeting with Falcone. Did you provide a quote? 85.4% did. Did we break the dock shooter's arm? 51.3% of players showed mercy. Did you give the Falcone data to Gordon or Vicky? 72%. How did Batman, 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 Batman deal with Falcone at the end? We showed restraint and handed Falcone over to the police safe and sound. There we go. Those were our choices. We can follow Batman's adventures wherever comics or books are sold. 